little update here. We've got a printer that basically prints and I've been futzing around with a lot of settings and getting into a working state so you can see pretty much all the bits here before I um, lock it down and make it look all neat and that. What I still need to add is a, um, a few panel clips here and I'll get to that in a moment. I need to add one for the back and a fan which I've just received so I can um, put that together. I've um, got some in in Australia they're called Coreplast or um, signboard material so that's pretty cheap stuff from office works you're able to get there for this kind of thing um, this is probably the best one that I've got here so I'll take that off in a moment and show you what it looks like attaching to the side um, printing wise this is already in doing the thing you can see the temperatures <coughs> which is fine um, stuff heats up I need to cut a hole in the bottom bit here um, I've been fixing this bit. I've been cleaning it very, very vigorously with the lead screws. So, with the 1.8s, what I recommend you do is uh, get a pipe cleaner. You know those little kids ones, and then um, use that. Put it in here, twist it around if you want, and then um, move it up and down a bit so it threads itself through. That's made this come up look a lot cleaner, and it's not as squeaky. It barely squeaks anymore now, which is great. Um, so there's that. This part here is all working fine. I've got a camera. Now, I'll talk about this briefly. You can see it here. I'll, I might flash up a photo as well to show what it looks like. Um, do I have the torch light on to so show you what it looks like here? I do. Yeah, so you can see there is a Raspberry Pi camera. I haven't thought about how I'm going to route it cleverly at the moment. There's a um, ribbon cable that goes through there, through to the back. So in there, plugs into the Pi. Um, in terms of flexibility, this is the Raspberry Pi camera is probably the best you can do in such a small space, and that angle is probably the best location. <clears throat> There's a good shot over there. Is the best location you can do. Now I open, modeled this in um, OpenSCAD. It's just a connection that um, has a bit of an extrusion there, sits into the plate, and then I'll put in an M3 screw in there to hold it in its place, and then some VHB tape to hold this in, and it's um, it's not going anywhere soon. This ribbon cable is very awkward. Um, I don't know what to do about making that looking better. Maybe I can um, put some braided cable on there. In fact, that's what I've got as well. And um, yeah, the cable routing here, I've talked about that in the previous video. Push that down so it's in place. I've uh, parked my head into the bed already, as you can see here. Um, whoops. And yeah, so I'm going to show you these panels and why I'm not that much of a fan of them. So this is the best one I've been able to do yet, and I'll show you why it's a little bit better than normal. Alright, pop that out. Now see, these have a little bit of friction here, which is great, I want that. Now I'll take this bit off, and you'll see why these are sticking a little bit better than the side. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's not going anywhere in a hurry, I like that. Okay, so, <clears throat> hammerhead screws basically fit into your side bits here like this, and then bobs your uncle. What I've done to have it be a tighter fit and not just slip out very easily, is I'll put one side of it to have some tape. If it was on two sides, it was too strong. So you can see here, that's what I've done. Um, and it works, but it's still very awkward. Um, and this only worked because I cut it slightly loose, you can see it's um, the spec of this of a 250 is um, 382 mil. I've gone to more like 380 mil, just so I've got a little bit of wiggle room there. So when I put this in place, I've, I'm holding it there, and then I use the VHB tape to put these on. So that's um, got to fit. With this one, it's it's, oh, it's just so awkward. Like look at this. Um, it only sticks on okay because. I've got some um, foam padding on there. It's just not good. Take this bit off too. I think that's all of them. So some of these are um, I use the the tape to stick them on better. But for the ones where I didn't, they just come off too easily. And again, this cut's pretty average but like on this side here it's just poor even when this was down a little bit more proper fitting in place it just it didn't stick on well enough 
So, yeah, I'll um, have a think about that panelling. I've got some um, uh, polycarbonate coming in with the right size here, so I'll be able to swap the panel clips out with the proper stuff. What I'm thinking of doing is in the actual placement of the room when it's actually in place, so I'll just take this bit out as well, is what I'll do is, um, so I'll be looking at this printer like this, so I'll probably shield off this side with signboard, um, have LEDs in the top, and um, this side will be clear, this side will be clear, and yeah. So you see, when this part is fully attached, it looks like that. <clears throat> it's a proper sheet. So the only other things I've got remaining on this to do, which I'll do when I get to um, ABS eventually. Oh, there's the, um, the plastic holder in place there. Looks nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, the only other remaining bit here is if you've um, got the exhaust panel part printed out, you would cut a hole in here and your plastic would be routed through there. Right now I'm going through the top. The other part I will need to do is at the bottom here, I will, um, instead of having this route over the side, I'll cut a small hole, just a little tiny one for this to fit through. That's the heated bed connection that you can see here. <clears throat> right, I'm going to do one more clip of the SKR because people seem to ask for about that a lot for the connections. Um, I don't know what to say about it. So in previous videos I was talking about layer skipping and that kind of stuff. I think I've mostly resolved it by um, re-racking the gantry again and um, doing that and we'll see how it goes. Um, I think I might have some uh, Z-banding. I'll pop up a picture of that as well so you can see what that looks like. And um, yeah. Alright, well, have a good one everyone.